Hey, Johnny. I had nothing planned for today, so compared to uh, my last video, uh, this might be a bit of a disappointment for our three fans, our three subscribers, for all three of our subscribers who are not us. So I thought I'd answer some of your questions that I have been ignoring for the last few days. Question one. Would a girl having a dog be a deal breaker? Um, I don't think so. Have I dated girls with dogs? Mm, yeah. I don't like dogs, but I could get over it. I mean, I'm never going to get rid of the fear. The terror. But I, I usually like dogs once I get to know them, so it's probably not a big deal. And two, do I ever have coins sticking to my body after I sleep with my jeans on? Uh, no, this has never happened to me in my life, uh, nor was I even aware of its possibility. You're the only person I know who sleeps wearing jeans. And I think that might be the strangest thing about you, actually. It's... It's so weird. Why do you do it? I mean, you can't like it, can you? Also, on the subject of blaming people, the question of free will is kind of strange because it seems to be an obviously absurd concept since behavior is either determined or random or some mix of determined and random. It can't be the case that there's anything free or... I don't even know what people who believe in free will believe in. Because they claim that they don't believe that their behavior is determined by factors. And they also don't believe that their behavior is random. And it seems to me that that just covers all of the possible options. And even if you provide a mix of random and determined, I don't see how that satisfies the, the feeling of choice that seems to be motivating their argument. However, uh, I'm also of the opinion that the processing that takes place in the brain is advanced enough, recursive enough, uh, and inspired enough by awareness that most of the things that people want when they say free will they can actually get from uh, basically deterministic thought processing decision making so uh, the only thing you really have to give up is um, moral outrage. I mean, people do things for reasons that make sense to them, and the things that make sense to them make sense to them for environmental, genetic, and historical reasons that are ultimately out of their control. Or at least out of the control of their present self. So, yep, don't get mad at people. That's about it. Anyway, Johnny, I think that takes me over two minutes, so I will, uh, See you tomorrow.